Well, there you have the press conference and the dinner that the players uh, participated in. And in just a moment, we're going to be talking to one of the great stars of junior hockey, Wayne Gretzky. But this is Junior World Cup Hockey on CTV. Well, this young star you see me with me right now is Wayne Gretzky, the 16-year-old star of Sault Ste. Marie. Take a good look at Wayne, because now he is 16. Wayne, we've got some exclusive footage that CTV has as an 11-year-old, so have a look at yourself. You're a good-looking young fellow there. You don't look a heck of a lot older. Now, these are the moves that, as an 11-year-old, made hockey scouts right across the world gasp with amazement. They just could not understand how a player as young as Wayne, at 11, could have such natural moves. And these exclusive CTV films here show just how good he was. But, you know, it was even before Wayne was 11 that the scouts were gasping about his play. Wayne, who I think was eight years of age, they first started saying, hey, up there in Brantford, there's a young hockey player that has just been great. Wayne, do you remember those days? Oh, it's, it's not hard to forget. I had a few good years when I was younger, and uh, I owe a lot of uh, uh, thanks to all the people in Brantford that helped me out through the years and that. And uh, it's a hard work. Everything seems to be paying off. It certainly does. Wayne, as I said, since about eight years of age, the scouts have been following you. You've been getting raves. You've been calling, called the greatest young player since Bobby Orr to come into junior hockey. Has this uh, bothered you? Has it put a lot of pressure on you? No, not really. Uh, I'm used to the pressure. I've had it ever since I was six, seven, eight, you know. Uh, I consider it a great honor to be considered a player like Bobby Orr and that, but uh, as you can see, my style is not quite the same as Bobby Orr's or something like that, but uh, I'm working on it. Wayne, talking about style, you've got number nine on the front of that sweater. It seems to me that a number nine was your idol and still is. Yes. Fellow named Gordie Howe? Yeah, he's always been my idol since I, was, uh, since I ever heard of him. Uh, last year I had the honor to play with his son, and it was just a great thrill. Mm -hmm. You don't have elbows like Gordie. <laughs> I wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think maybe you have to start playing a little tougher now in junior hockey? Um, not really. I'm not really tougher. I just got to learn how to protect myself a bit more. And uh, the bigger guys that take runs at me and that, uh, just got to keep my head up out there. Well, people seem to forget that you're 16. How much do you weigh? Uh, about 158 pounds. And, uh, a lot of people ask me that, and then when I answer, they don't believe me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne, let's take a look at this Junior World Hockey Tournament. Has the competition surprised you, the caliber of it? Uh, not really. Uh, the other teams from the other, uh, from Europe and that, U.S., they are good hockey clubs, but uh, there's just so much talent on the Canadian hockey club, as you, as you can see. Uh, 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 we just keep playing the way we are, and... Uh, the way we, uh, way we can, I don't think there'll be much trouble for the Canadian Hockey Club. You don't think there's any team that should really give you trouble on it? Uh, no, not really. If uh, anybody's going to give us trouble, I think it's going to be Czech, Slovakia, Sweden. Is that right? They tell me, too, that Finland could be a surprise in this tournament. What do you think? Uh, yeah, they could. Uh, we played in our first exhibition game, being 3-2, to two, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. They're going to have to beat the Russians the next time out, and uh, whatever happens there, you know, we'll be ready for them. Do they play a different style of hockey, the European club? Uh, it's completely different. Uh, there's not, they don't throw their uh, weight around that much, but uh, they can skate. And uh, if you chase them, you'll be tired by the end of that game, right? <laughs> believe me. And uh, you just got to learn how to play positional hockey against them, and that's what uh, Ernie's been telling us, and it's been working out good so far. You know, Wayne, the goal you scored was a backhander. You don't see too many backhand goals because of the shave down and curved sticks. Well, I, I mainly stick with a, a small curve, uh, just about straight, really. And, uh, mm -hmm. I usually practice my backhand shot, and I've been using it quite a bit this year, and I scored four or five goals on the backhand shot this year. Well, do you find the goalies maybe aren't expecting it? Uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty, uh, pretty Here's obvious. The stick. Let's bring it in, have a look at it. This is the stick now. Let's see if we can get a good look at this stick here as we put it on the camera. Does that give you an idea of the curve? Maybe it does, and, that, and it's a full blade pretty well, right, yeah. Wayne? Yeah, I, I don't really tamper very with it. Very little curve I on just, it. Uh, like a light stick with a very little curve on it. Mm -hmm. Wayne, there is one other question I want to ask you, and that has to do with rumors and reports that uh, maybe you aren't even thinking of professional hockey, that you might want to do something else with your life, despite how brilliant you are. Well, those rumors might have got out of hand, you know, but uh, you, all I said was that you got you to gotta look at two angles. Uh, you can't just concentrate on hockey. Uh, it's great to be a uh, professional hockey player. That's what everybody aims to be, but uh, you got to look at other sides of the fence, and uh, I'm just going to stick with my schooling as far as I can, and... Uh, Hope it, it comes out well. Are you enjoying playing in this tournament? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a great thrill and quite an honor to be playing for the country. Uh, I'll tell you, the fans all across the country are really enjoying the type of hockey these future stars, such as yourself and the rest of Team Canada, are putting on. It's just been great hockey. I'd like to ask you also about Sault Ste. Marie, where you're playing your junior hockey now. You're a star up there, I know, and are you enjoying it in the Sioux? Well, the Sioux's great. Uh, when I was drafted there, I had hesitations of going, but uh, 
Driven Buzz uh, and Angel and all the management up there, uh, people I live with and fans and friends. It's, uh, it's just super up there and the teammates. Uh, I know they're all watching it. I want to wish them all a Merry Christmas. And, uh, uh, it's really good up there. Uh, so far we started slowly, but uh, we're going to come on in the second half. How about your mom and dad? Are they watching? Yeah, I'm pretty wish sure they're Merry watching. Christmas. Yeah, I wish them a Merry Christmas and all the friends in Brantford. Right, Wayne. Congratulations. Thank it's been much. great hockey. You'll be looking forward to the rest of it. Thank, yeah, you, very thank much. you very much. It's Team Canada leading by the score of 4-2 to two over Czechoslovakia, and this is Junior World Cup Hockey on CTV.